Yeah, the Oregon coast is always a top tourist destination, not only during spring break, but any time of the year. Yeah, unfortunately, getting there on any of the highways through Oregon's coast range can be extremely dangerous. Tony has more on today's Behind the Wheel. When there's a crash in the Oregon coast range on Highway 6 or 26, the first responders on the scene are often from Banks Fire District 13, a station Scott Adams has called home for the last 22 years. The longer you're in it, the rougher it is on the number of memories that build up. The earlier you're in the fire EMS, the harder it is because these are brand new things for you. Crashes in the coast range are common. From 2015 to 2019, there were 687 on Highway 26 between Highway 47 and 101. 17 of those crashes were deadly. Part of the danger is the road itself. One, it's in the coast range, so we have weather issues. The road is steep. It's steep up, it's steep down. We have lots of corners on that that you may not be able to see around as you're driving 55, 65, or 70 miles an hour as some traffic does on there. Driving on a highway is different than driving on a freeway and in some ways much more dangerous. Highways have intersections, traffic signals, and cars coming and going from driveways and parking lots. Some may have just pulled out, some may be slowing down to go to a driveway or to pull off to a gas station. These are all things that you don't face on a restricted access freeway. Also, highways are undivided. There's no physical barrier separating traffic. Cars drifting across the center line can hit on traffic head on. The slightest bit of inattention can get you into that other lane and a large number of the accidents that we see are from a, a vehicle going into another vehicle's lane and colliding head on. Of course people aren't the only ones hurt by crashes. Entire communities can also suffer. That's what led Jesse Burrow to found a group in Tillamook called Safety on Six. That highway is very dangerous and a lot of stuff happens and a lot of people don't really realize um, you know, at the blink of an eye, things can change just like that. Community members in Tillamook, community members here in Banks, we care about those that are passing through our districts. As drivers, we expect the state to provide us with roads that are safe and well-maintained, but any road is a dangerous road in the hands of a careless driver. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. You need to put your focus on it. It can't just be something you do on autopilot. Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. You know, Tony, I have a girlfriend who moved out to the coast about three or four months ago. I uh -huh. still have not gone to visit because I, she knows, I specifically told her, I don't like driving on that road. Yeah. And truth be told, <laughs> I personally have driven to the coast on Highway 26 once in the past six or seven years. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I just, I don't one. like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it is so different than the freeways I kind of pointed out there. But I mean, the bottom line is, you know, just you have to take your responsibility as a driver right. so much more seriously on a highway as compared to a freeway. Of course, all of it matters, but highways in particular, so. Oh, good advice. All right, Tony, thank you. makes us you. so aware. It does. Yeah. It really does. And I agree. It's a scary, it it's is. a scary trek out there to the yeah. coast. Uh,